there is a whole new breed of robots that not only find dangerous explosive devices, they dispose of them. Working hand in hand with soldiers in one of the most risky jobs in combat, EOD, or Explosive Ordnance Disposal. They're the Army's answer to bomb squads, and they're there uh, trying to defuse the uh, improvised explosives, the roadside bombs that have been responsible for over half the American deaths uh, in Iraq. Now there's another IED about 200 uh, meters down the road from this one, and we're going to dispose of my detonation. In all my experience with Iraq and any other area I've ever gone to, the remote reconnaissance robots can actually assist the soldiers dramatically. Never send a man where you can send a machine. The EOD mainly uses two robots to do their dangerous work, the Packbot and the Talon. Both are anti-explosive equipped. We've done over 30,000 missions over in Iraq with the Talon robot, and there's been several robots that have actually gotten blown up, and we picked up the parts, went back to the shop, put it back together, and put it right back out into action. Each Talon weighs about 120 pounds, and with fully charged batteries can operate for about six hours in the harsh climates of the Middle East, dealing with dangerous IEDs or improvised explosive devices. You can actually utilize the robot to actually carry down charges down to the improvised explosive devices so we can actually eliminate that threat without actually putting that EOD soldier at risk. We have the forward drive camera, the rear drive camera, the arm camera, and the gripper camera. So within the four cameras that we have, we can actually display all four cameras on our screen all at once or one at a time, whichever we choose. The gripper camera is important because it gives us a depth of field so we can actually pick up that item. Whereas the arm camera let us know about how close we are to that item. 